Hey, what's up guys? It's John with AdSense Flippers. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to get your site set up with HostGator. So this is the method that we use for all of our sites. We register them with GoDaddy and then we host them on HostGator. So if you haven't done so already, the first thing you need to do is make sure you have your domain registered with GoDaddy. So you just go into GoDaddy and you type in the domain you want hit go and go through the whole registration process. Secondly, you need to make sure that you have a hosting account with HostGator. So if you go to hostgator.com backslash shared, I'll take you to this page and you can sign up for one of these plans. Recommend for sure a plan with unlimited domains and unlimited disk space. Uh, obviously you can't, you know, set up, you know, an infinite amount of sites on the same shared hosting plan or they all get really slow but uh, you definitely want to be able to do multiple on the same plan or things could get pretty expensive so let's let's get started once you sign up for HostGator you'll receive a message in your email that will give you your control panel location so you can sign in via the web it will also give you your username password, uh, your domain servers, all that stuff. Now I can't show you ours obviously, but you'll get yours in the mail so you'll have that information handy. So the first thing we're going to have to do after we get our hosting account set up and our domain registered is to change our name servers to forward to HostGator. Now you'll receive an email with all the information that you need to do this from HostGator when you sign up for an account there. So just get your name servers from that email and then we're going to go ahead and log into GoDaddy. Once we log in, we're going to go to Domains and Domain Management. Now this is actually really simple. All you have to do is select the domain that you want, go up to Name Servers, go to Set Name Servers. And then you'll just take the name servers that were given to you in your email from HostGator and put them into name server 1 and name server 2. Make sure this is on I have specific name servers for my domain. You'll hit OK. And that's it. Usually this takes a couple hours, even sometimes a couple days before the domain forwards. Alright, so let's go to HostGator and get our site set up. Alright, so once we sign into HostGator, your control panel will look something like this. The first thing we need to do is we need to add our domain to HostGator. So, we'll scroll down to Domains here, and we'll go to Add Domains. Under New Domain Name, we'll just throw in the name of our domain. And HostGator will automatically fill in for you a new FTP username and the root for this directory. You don't need to change either of these. Next you'll put in a password and once that's all squared away we're going to go ahead and hit add domain. Alright, now we're back in our control panel and we need to create a database for this domain to connect to so we can install WordPress. So we'll scroll down to databases and we're going to go into the database wizard. Just to make things simple, we recommend you just use your domain name for the actual database name. Remember, you can only use letters and numbers. You don't want to put in any dots or special characters. Now we're going to go to the next step. And we're going to type in a username. and a password. And create user. Okay, when we get to this point we want our user for our new database to have all privileges. So go ahead and click all privileges and then click next step. Alright, now this has our information about our database. So we want to copy this into a notepad file so we don't lose it. Probably smart to put your password into this file as well, so you know so you know what that is. All right, now we're going to return to our control panel. 
Okay, so now it's actually time to upload the WordPress zip files into our HostGator account. If you don't already have it, you need to download FileZilla. Go to filezilla-project.org and download the FileZilla client. You don't need the server here, just the client. Secondly, if you don't have the WordPress file, go to wordpress.org backslash download and you can download that here. With this guide, we've included a WordPress zip file that has all the plugins that you're going to need. That's going to save you quite a bit of time as you won't have to go through and install them manually. So we recommend that you use that. Okay, that is the end of part one for the HostGator setup tutorial. In the next bit, we'll show you how to use FileZilla, get your WordPress zip files uploaded, and connect WordPress to your database.